Put it up. Y'all, it looks good, doesn't it? U4 600, and we've got some bigger tires on it. This is not the stock setup, obviously, but uh, we want to do this video to show you what will fit on the U4 600. Now, this is no lift kit. The shocks are still at the uh, factory preload position, so that's there, and the same thing on the back. No lift kit, no spacers, no none of that. We are able to fit from Main Street Cycle the uh, Blackwater Evo tires in a 28 by 11 by 14 on the rear. Up front, we have the 28 by 10 by 14s, and they do not scrub. They look awesome. Y'all know that we love this tire. It has great traction uh, on many different terrains. They uh, actually last a long time, and we really, really like them. Uh, we've got them mounted up on our MSA wheels. We have a ton of selections at Main Street Cycle, and remember, we can ship these out to you. Uh, so just text the Main Street Cycle number, and we can get you hooked up with some kind of wheel and tire kit, and uh, we'll get you fixed up. But those are the, Joel, what, what were those MSA M41s? I think these are the M41s. Uh, I'll verify that and I'll, I'll put it on the screen or in the com description or something. But I'm pretty sure it's the M41 MSA wheels. And that's a five plus two offset. So uh, no wheel spacers, but it does have a five plus two offset and it looks great. So the stock wheels and tires is a 25 inch tire. So we went up three inches on the tire and uh, we're gonna drive it, see how she handles it. And uh, pretty sure it's gonna be just fine. You know, as long as you use low gear when you're going, you know, slow speeds or put it in a bind, if you're going up a hill, if you're loaded down with cargo or pulling a trailer, just put in low gear and uh, it'll be fine. So also we're going to be working on a clutch kit as well for the U4 600. We'll have that right here at Main Street Cycle as soon as we get through testing and decide what we want to put. We'll be uh, making them custom to you. So we'll, you know, we'll be asking you what size uh, tires you're running. We'll ask you, uh, you know, how much you weigh, what kind of riding style you have, and if you're going to be riding with a passenger. And if you have a bunch of accessories installed as well that could add weight. And we're going to make our Main Street Cycle Clutch Kits custom for you. But enough about that. Uh, we're going to be excited about what all we're going to do with the U4 600s. I love that it has uh, the high clearance A-arm straight from the factory. That is a very nice uh, stock uh, thing that's uh, on the U4 600. But uh, anyhow, we've got 28 inch tires, 28 by 10. So I know that any 28 by nine or 28 by nine and a half uh, tire will fit on the front. Um, and, and Joel, if you'll turn it for them, you can show them that we have no rubbing issues. Well, let's see if I can get my camera. I can't get my camera in there, but it does not rub. You see that we have clearance there. We And me and Joel both sat in it and uh, leaned it and we torqued it every which and way we could and couldn't get it to rub. So 28 inch tires. Now the Blackwater Evos, they kind of tend not to, uh, they don't tend to measure exactly yeah, 28, in, 28 inch, uh, 28 inches <laughs> uh, so take that into consideration okay um, I know without a doubt you can slap some 27s on on your u4 600 if you want just a little more uh, ground clearance without having to put a lift kit 
I do suggest that you stick with a lightweight all-terrain tire. Um, that's just my personal preference. And uh, this this U4600 looks excellent. So anyways, hope that y'all enjoyed this video. We're about to go fix up another U4600, putting on all kinds of accessories. So if you want any kind of accessory for your U4600 or any of your CF motos, we've got you covered right here at Main Street Cycle. So God bless y'all. As always, remember to keep it real. And we'll see you in the next one.